Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. I just came back from a laser appointment this morning and I was supposed to do everything. I was supposed to get my legs done, my bikini, my underarms, and my upper lip, but apparently my legs were a little bit too tan, which was very annoying because I had to drive uh, all the way to the valley, but it's fine. I'm going to try my best to keep my legs out of the sun for these next four-ish weeks and hopefully I can get my next session done because I feel so, so good about laser. I'm starting to see amazing results. Last month after my last session that I had, I was able to go two weeks without shaving my underarms. Like it was, it was amazing. And I got them done today. So I'm praying that the results are gonna be fantastic after the session as well. I used a little bit of numbing cream this time because my last session, it hurt so freaking bad. I could barely handle it. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes it hurts really bad. Sometimes I can pull through, but last time was really bad. I think this time the numbing cream really, really helped. because I've been having the energy drinks instead, but I'm excited to have this. It's pulled there today. I'm very excited. I did a decent amount of work that I'm pretty happy about. I filmed quite a bit of content that I had. So there were two brands that I had to film content for and I edited both of those videos and submitted them. I found this other website actually through TikTok that talked about basically it's the same situation as keepers where you apply to different brands and if they want to work with you they'll reach back out to you but I applied to about 10 of them and then I also applied to a couple of things on Upwork. I have ha I have not had any success on Upwork and the one time that somebody did reach out to me they ended up scheduling a meeting with me and then they did not show up so far not a good experience with upwork but i'm hoping i'm hoping that something comes out i'm hoping that something works out this time i'm gonna make pre-workout i also have been snacking like a maniac i've eaten i want to say like 100 grapes of sitting on the couch applying to all of this stuff and just munching on grapes the entire time that's that and I just feel like a bottomless pit that that's it just a bottomless pit and I also ate kimchi is that weird gut health I told myself I'm doing a full scoop because I want to have a really good workout and I'm gonna make one for me hi too wow I just became so warm also I filmed a quick little like day in the life and I also published that on TikTok. I don't wanna say I've been slacking because I've been working very hard at everything, but in the sense of, you know, I had these big like intentions for myself. Oh, I'm gonna post like 10 TikToks a day and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. That is what I've been slacking on. So I've been posting two, max three a day and the majority of days, it's just one actually. That's just not, it's just not working because I know that as a creator, if you wanna make it, you have to go ham, you have to go all in. And I was listening to a podcast the other day and this girl was talking about this very well, very, very well known TikToker actually. She said that when she first started out for two years straight, she posted around 10 TikToks a day. Did not miss a single day. 10 TikToks for two years straight. That's where I'm coming from when I say that I feel like I've been slacking because I'm posting one a day, she was posting 10 a day. I really think that I just need to take a step back and reassess and figure out how I can 
push out as much content as I can but make it still incredibly high quality and make it incredibly either entertaining or educational something along those lines because I don't want to just post just a post obviously that is what that is the social media update I'm also still not caught up caught up with all of my YouTube videos because I realized that I actually film so much that it takes me so long to edit a lot of my videos are three hours long and i have to cut them down so so much and i've noticed that i talk way too much in them so i'm gonna stop i'm gonna cut that out because so i'm talking way too much and the videos are way too long that's holding me back from uploading consistently so i don't know i'm starting to like notice all of these things that i'm not doing right and i really just want to get on track and do things right. Mihai is getting a donut for us to split before the gym because we both need a little bit extra uh, encouragement for today's pull day. We're at Donut King I believe that's what it's called and we're just gonna split a glazed donut and then we're gonna do pull day. I don't know what it is but I'm just well I, I know what it is but I'm just craving sugar like a mad person. I'm so like I said I'm a bottomless pit. <laughs> All I want to do is eat. I swear, you just walked in and walked out. Do you even pay? Nope. Oh, you got donut holes? They gave them to me. Really? They're free. Oh. Of course. Oh, this is one of the good glazed donuts. Oh my gosh, it's already so soft. Wow, nice to Taste. Whoa. <laughs> Taste us. today It is seven o'clock, so today's dinner is going to be extremely quick. I'm making some spaghetti with bison, onion, rouse. This is the arrabbiata sauce, it's my favorite. And going to add this raw pecorino romano to it and a sprinkle of basil.
All right, dinner is done. Here's mine. I added some fresh basil. Mihai doesn't like basil, so did not add any to his. Quickest dinner ever. And then I cut up some fruit. There are peaches and plums under there, so this will be dessert. Thank you.